What's up, baby? What's up, YouTube? What's going on, guys? I'm super excited today. Today is a day I didn't think was going to come because I just fixed the trailer of my uncle's house. Well, spoiler alert. I went and bought myself a trailer. So, we're going to go pick up the trailer and uh, bring it back to the house. I got all the goodies to put on it and we're going to make this thing happen. So, I'll be back at you and I'll see you when I come back. Back at you, baby. We're about to take this journey. We're going to run pick this trailer up. Uh, super excited, man. Um, I didn't think I was going to get a trailer this quick. Uh, but you know, the stars are lined. God allowed it, so I'm going to get a trailer. This way, one thing I learned about the car game, if you're going to be in a car game, you got to have a trailer. And there's no way around not having a trailer. You got to have a trailer to move around your vehicles, man. You will get taxed so high on somebody hauling your car here and there. It's not worth it. So it's just not. So I'm your new car guy. You know, I'm, I'm the new haul guy. I can haul and I can make money. If somebody want to pick me, want to call and that's all. You call and we haul. <laughs> I'm waiting on my brother-in-law to get in. We're going to take this ride, man. And um, we're going to get on our journey. But uh, I got to get there. It's 3 o'clock now. I got to get there. They close for 5. So I got to hurry up and get there. But, uh, man, super excited. Um Next video we're gonna go. Um, I might. Next video for sure we're gonna do a. Uh, we're gonna pick up the Monte Carlo. I gotta I bring it oh, to God. another uh, mechanic. They have more of them in the fridge. Oh no, cause I had to put this in it myself. Okay. First. So, like I said, we're gonna do our thing. So, about to hit this road. Go ahead and get that so you don't drop, bro. Yeah, the brother-in-law right here, Steve-O. He oh, trying, Johnny, baby. He trying to fix his car, uh, but I don't know, you know. You're uh, a car guy. You're supposed to be a car guy. You're supposed to know exactly exactly what you need. Like when you're doing your LS swaps and your uh, and all your different uh, mechanical things, you gotta know exactly the type of part. Don't just be going in there talking about some. I need some, and you ain't got it. Stupid. Well, you heard it from Steven. You heard it from Steven. You heard what he said. So, we're going out. We're going to make this road this road trip happen. And, uh, like I say, I'll be back at you when I come back at you. Hey, you know how that go. We'll be at the car dealership. Baby, hey, back at you. It's time to check out this badass trail I just got, man. It's really sweet. Really, really sweet. Check it out. I upgraded to the Billy Wheels. Uh, Max D trailer Max D um, it's pretty cool it's a bad trailer so it has the loading lights the split dovetail billet wheels I even paid for the extra billet wheel right here hey excuse me really cool um, yeah it has the swivel D rings it's pretty cool um, yeah, got it from this place called Anfield Trailers. They're out in uh, Lacombe, Louisiana. So, uh, I'll come check them out. I don't know if the price is the best. But man, the trailer is sweet though. So, it is, has a load box right here. These are the extra D rings I, I purchased. So, Get home and clean that out. Look, even got a dead frog in there. We'll clean that on out. And uh get this uh get this done. It has the winch winch plate. So I have the winch at home, but I'm looking at this winch plate is super thick. So I'm probably gonna have to get some uh, longer screws. So I'm gonna go do that when I get home, but uh it's a bad trailer. Uh, I think it was worth the money, you know. So pretty cool. Pretty badass. So, this is what I got. About to load it up, take it on home, man. Anfield Trailers. Pretty cool place. All right, YouTube. We back. Coming back. It started raining out here, so I can't really um, show you 
my progress so far. It's kind of raining. And um, splice the wires on the uh, solar panel. And I'm going to bind them back together. And uh, I have them set right. Uh, so I'm going to get wet. I get wet. I ain't going to stay out here but a second. I kind of want to show my progress off. But um, splice the wires, like I said. I ran, uh, I put some rivets into the, uh, to the actual uh, toolbox and I uh, put four rivets in, screwed them in and I also have one rubber grommet. I'm going to see, I have a little bit of space right here if you can see, Let's see if I can get a closer look. So I'm going to put some silicone in there just to give it a watertight seal. Also like I said, uh, Full, full rivets and this is the silicone and if you can see I already got water coming in so I'm gonna silicone that up I gotta go run and get some silicone but um this is the side of it I was trick or charging the bathroom earlier but um before it started raining I did install the winch also I ran two rubber grommets here to install that winch and actually it's like super, super tight seal but I'm gonna run silicone there as well just to give it a double uh, double security for water resistance um the winch worked out great uh it does have the loading lights i'm gonna have to do a video at night so you can see them uh, so you can see them turn on really cool um yeah so this is my progress thus far so have the battery i mean the winch installed have the installation done on the solar panel just have to silicone this uh this uh grommet so it can uh, be a better tight water fit, better tight fit with the water. And I have no problem with these uh, with these uh, rivets. I mean, it's super water tight. I'm gonna run silicone and run them anyway too. What the hell? It won't hurt nothing. And I spliced both sides and I shortened the wire up. I really, if I if I wanted to, I could just cut this, put these two together, and run them that way because it's long enough. I don't really need all that wire, but. I have some uh, some wrap I'm gonna wrap it with just to make everything super secure. Come on, babe. Baby girl. She always wanna follow her papa. So, so far so good. That's my progress right now. I'll be back with another video update on, um, on the trailer. So far, this is the progress I made uh, for this trailer. Um, for the Smitty Built Winch, it's uh, XRC third generation 99 and 500 pound winch but i'm gonna tell you they gave you the option to paint the tops i wish i never did i wish i'd have left them black because the crap peeling off and it's just kind of looking trashy but i'm happy for the work that i did do and i got the uh, the setup looking good and i recommend this for anybody who have a trailer because if you have a trailer you need a winch if you, you're hauling cars you know so it's it's it's, it's needed so I'll show you my setup we talked about the winch, like I said, that's the Smitty Built XRC third generation. You can see I officially mounted the um, solar panel onto the uh, onto the winch. Uh, it's actually actively charging, which is trying to charge really because there's no sunlight out. That's what the blank and red light indicates. Uh, so I got the solar panel off uh, Amazon. Obviously, where we get everything from. Uh, I ran some. Um, some rivets i have a rivet gun so i ran some rivets one two three four it was raining earlier so i actually checked while it was raining and the rivets was holding up to the weather very well but if you can see i'm gonna see if i can get this thing to focus i actually siliconed it around just as a precautionary you know i mean you i have this in here and i, I don't want to have no issues um also um i also um wrapped the um the positive and negative wires and some wire loom just to make it a little bit better than it was and um just to pretty it up how, how some people will see also silicone the back end of these grommets i don't think i had to truthfully because it was holding up really really well but i figured with, with silicone can't hurt anything you know it's just to help now this wire that i have exposed right this to go actually goes on the positive side and this is what illuminates this, that, that XRC sign. So, if I was to take this off, I guess I can do it. Wow, well, I'm doing this video. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. Like I was saying, 
crack peeling and it, 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 I just don't think I should have done it but I'm gonna attach this I'm gonna attach this just so I can show you what I'm talking about and this why I leave it un, unconnected because at the end of the day um, shucks at the end of the day that should be good enough hold on I don't know, it might be touching, it might be touching, which it is. So you can see this, this would stay lit if I didn't disconnect it. So that's why I uh, keep it disconnected. And when I do want to run it, I just turn, you know, just to make it look pretty when I show up somewhere to have it on. Because it's like supposed to be like a daytime running light. But the winch is actively running. It's super fast, man. And I, and I read that and uh, reviewed, not reviewed it, but when I was looking at it, um, they were saying how fast the winch is. It's super fast. And, um, hell, I'm just pulling cause I'm not actually doing any four wheeling, but it's worth it, you know? So, I'm glad, you know, I'm in the background running his mouth. But, um, and, um, yeah, I'm, a, uh, like I said, so, um, I mean, if I want to look, look pretty, I let it stay connected all day. Uh, so I just disconnect. Let me show you. Disconnect it right here. Just keep it off. That way, it's not just on. It's not just consistently on. And that's the plan. I, that's how I want it to be. Uh, this is my tow strap. The bag came in Rhino. Rhino USA. It seemed like a pretty good company. So I went ahead and trusted them. They were on Amazon like everything else. Uh, the proven Industries. Couple of lock. Um, I have a Ford. So. You know that pro backup assist, man. That was the first time I used it, man. I'm gonna tell you, I've been a Ford man. Man, I've been a Ford man for at least um, 14, 15 years, and um, I'm gonna be honest, <laughs> man. That backup assist, I don't care who y'all. I don't think Chevy has that, or Ram has that, uh, or Nissan, anybody. I don't think Toyota, nobody has it. I think that's a uh, exclusive to Ford, and I'm gonna tell you that Pro Trailer Backup Assist makes backing up so easy. Now I don't have a 18 wheel uh, CDL license. I'm not, a, I'm not the greatest in backing up a trailer. I can right. get it done. I was getting it done because I used to have a rental business at one time. But having that Pro, Pro Trailer Backup Assist uh, sticker, you should know it's the best, man. So All right. All right. you know it really is. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just bring them to the bike shop and. Uh, and I also have a, a Trimax uh, wheel lock. I don't know how much I'm in love with that right now. I didn't really too much care for the Proven uh -huh. Industries one. It's probably better than this one because this was okay. really cheap. Okay. Well, I'll go but that I, I figure multiple levels of security is what the, the, okay. the, the, the what I want. And the trailer's not going to be actually staying at my house. Okay, it's going to be at another location. But in a location anywhere, look, these going to be a thief that really wants to try. They're gonna get, be successful, you know. We got, but you want to have as many um, deterrents as possible. So that's the reason I did that. So um, this is pretty much the end of the wow, video. I, um, I wanted to show you the lights connected, running with the truck running, so you can see how the lights look when they're on. It's super awesome. Um, I, might have, I might have to do that on a later date. I don't know. I might even do it, but uh, definitely super cool. Uh, I'm glad I. Uh, I purchased this Max D trailer. I mean, I'm, right, I'm not even a spokesman or anything for Max D, but it just seemed like they make the best trailers. Powder coated frame, uh, had loading lights, split dovetail, uh, had swivel D rings. Uh, they actually gave me two more D wing D rings. The um, trailer company to threw them in. Um, I didn't. I'd say, look, I um, I'll uh, install it myself, man. I appreciate the love. So I mean, it's a great company out in uh, Lacombe, Louisiana. I'm from New Orleans. Um, probably could pick that up in my voice, but it has the loading lights, man. This thing's awesome. And like I said, this is the um, the solar panel, and I, I, you know, I'm in love with it. I, I really like how how it's done. You see the two grommets there, and uh, the main thing I just want to say at the end of this video: like, share, comment, uh, and follow, follow, subscribe to the channel, man. I have a lot more videos coming up. Uh, videos with the 442 videos with the Monte Carlo a lot of stuff coming up so just ride with your boy and uh, hang in there with me 
and I think it'll be worth your while.